At Stanford and JPL, we have learned from gecko lizards to make small adhesive grippers that adhere to smooth surfaces such as solar panels and fuel tanks with little attachment and detachment effort. This is a nice solution for grappling and releasing free-floating objects. We then efficiently scaled the gripper up and added a special wrist design to enable the grasping and manipulation of large objects. Experiments have been conducted in the NASA JPL air bearing floor, also known as the Robodome, where a 370 kg master robot with a gripper tried to grapple another 370 kg slave robot by grasping a solar panel. Either controlled by human or autonomous thrusters, the master robot successfully grappled the slave robot with the only slight push but large adhesion. The wrist that acts like a non-linear cushion that absorbs energy during impact but stays stiff during manipulation. Misaligned grasping is also demonstrated here. Another system level integrated test was performed with the Lemur 3 robot. We equipped each foot of the robot with a multi unit flat gripper to traverse along a solar panel surface. The robot is gravity offloaded to simulate walking in zero gravity. We envisioned that with the ability to walk along the outside surfaces of the space stations, robots can help astronauts do inspections and maintenance of the space station. For a full 3D floating test, we build an even larger gripper that can grasp both flat and curved surfaces with large safety factor. Experiments were conducted in the NASA Zero Gravity Airplane, also known as the Vomit Comet. In flat gripper mode, the gripper grasps a cubic object much larger than itself with little pressing force. When detaching, the gripper does not affect the object's motion state. This is very different from conventional sticky materials. Similar functions have been achieved with the curved gripper. Little attachment force, strong grip, and clean detachment. Spherical surface grasping has also been conceptually proved with a beach ball. Although it does not require much adhesion, it does require a very tiny engagement force because it is easy to knock the ball away. In 2016, NASA sent several small versions of the gripper to the International Space Station for testing. We really look forward to bringing this technology to life and making more debris-free orbits in space.